that's it. Let's go to the first question. And the first question is something that I did. It's related to a video that I did in the past. And uh, this video is for the T TD3. It's a, a Behringer synthesizer and it's based on the, on the TD3, I guess. That's the name. And um, it's a um, old school bass synthesizer. And uh, I see a lot of people with a lot of questions about uh, how to connect this. So in this video, I'm going to try to show you, or in this stream, I will try to show you how to best connect this and i will show you also the the best way to connect it with fl studio which sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain so let's go ahead and switch back to the to my uh hmm, which one should i choose first fl studio or the webcam let's go with the webcam so this is the 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 td3 and if you don't know this is a very a really nice uh, synth from Behringer and it's kind of kind of cheap uh, I think it was uh, 100 and something euros so it's 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 a good synth to have in your um, setup and let's see what we have here so the connections that I have as you can see there's several uh, four cables here let me try to show you all of them so the first one is the power and if I click this, you will hear a uh, uh, on-off sound. And as you can see, there's some some LED or LED lights already showing. And this one is the USB cable that you can connect here to directly to your uh, computer. And this is useful for updating your software or the firmware and also using the, the tool that they have that they provide I, I don't know exactly the name of the tool but there's a tool they provide so that you can load new presets into the the tv3 so that's it then i have here the output and the output goes directly into my um presonus uh, uh not presonus my focus right usb audio interface and then i have this one here this is the most important one which is the midi cable and if i show you you take it out this is a MIDI cable so what you have to do is connect one of these into the to the output of your Focusrite or whatever audio interface you have you will probably have audio interface with a MIDI connection like this and then you connect the output of that into the input of this one and that's the only connection that you need so let's go now to fl studio so i will try to go between one and the other and this will not be the the easiest one easiest way but uh, it is what i have here my setup and um, let's go here to fl studio so the first thing that you have to do in fl studio is go here to the midi midi settings and as you can see i already have td3 set up here so uh, this is um, selected in port 2 and you can go and put port 0, port 1, no port and if you take the port there will be nothing here so you have to enable it, you have to put it here I chose port 2 because I already have this at port 1 and this at port 0, my focus right and I don't know why I have this actually I don't need it so let's put this at port 0 and we can send the master sync which is something that i want so let's put this master sync and uh, because i want the mm, i want fl studio to send a sync signal to tv3 so that's why this is it says here sync otherwise they might not be in sync and they might not work correctly okay and here for the input you don't necessarily need anything here so this is, uh, you could have also input, but uh, this is MIDI input and I don't want, I want to send information from the FL Studio into TD3. So that's it. Again, we have to remember here the port. Okay, and then also we have the synchronization type and we can use one of these. I will leave it as MIDI clock. I, 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 how can I say? I probably have to check some other or test some other some other clocks because this is kind of buggy to be honest and let me see i have my fl studio asio and a nine millisecond um, delay here 
or uh, latency, not delay. And now if I go here, there's a plugin called MIDI and it's called MIDI out. And if I select this and I put it on port zero, now if I click in some my, my keyboard and I can actually show you here. So let's go to the webcam. If I click to one, one of these notes, you see this is actually sound coming from the TD3. So what I'm actually doing is sending as you can see, this is not playing. If I click here, it will start play and it will normally play. So I can change the preset, something like that. I can even put some other presets here. Something like that. And you can see there's a bunch of them. We can change the pitch Can make it faster slower so this is it let's stop okay and um, let's go back now to FL Studio and this is the, the thing that I was talking about we can play notes if you see here my MIDI I'm sending MIDI notes so if you don't want to necessarily use the the sounds in your or the presets in in tv3 you can just go here create a new midi out and you just create your own preset here and you can have something like that let's see if this sounds maybe i have to put it in a lower octave And the good thing is that I have this playing. And if I go back to TD3, I can still play around with some knobs and have And the problem here is that um, you have to be careful with the uh, with the tuning because uh, as you saw I put it C5 this was the, the, the main note or the starting note, but I can change the pitch here. And you can manipulate this however you like. And this is the good thing about this. Uh, let me, we can change the volume and all that stuff. You can control FL Studio, or you can can control TD3 through MIDI, and actually this is working quite quite nice. So it's not creating any any how can I say any let me stop any delay actually. Yeah, so this is working correctly this this time. But sometimes I just want to to play something. Let's say that I want to record. Um, let me see that I want to record a preset. So what I can do is to sync my, I can play here. Uh, actually, okay. So what I have to do is I have to go back to, let me see. Let's say that I want to sync my TV3 with the playback of FL Studio instead of having to play the notes here. And I have to go to TD3 and I have to select here uh, let's see the where is it I think oh it's here mode and I have to select MIDI and when I select MIDI now the pitch will not matter so what will will sync it will sync with the FL Studio um, clock so now if I play hmm. Actually, this is not syncing. I don't know why. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, sometimes this is a little bit, uh, a little bit um, not so, not so easy to to work with. Okay, this.
Okay, so let me see what's going on. Uh, I, th I knew there was a way for me to have these to be able to put the FL Studio as the sync mode. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is why it's so it's so, so hard sometimes to just uh, just use this uh, this uh, this synth because it's uh, it's kind of kind of a mess sometimes <laughs> to be honest. And uh, I I'm selecting here. Uh, this should work. I will probably have to do some more experimentation uh, offline so that I, I can show you exactly. So this here with the pitch mode, when you click here, you can select as you, I don't know if you can read there, it says MIDI or USB or internal. And this is the clock source. And here internal, if I hit play, I can make this faster or slower. So this this should be the, the thing. And if I hit MIDI, my FL Studio clock, should be syncing with with TD3, which is not. I don't know why. Let me see if I did something wrong here in my MIDI configuration. And this is port zero, port zero, send master. So this should be sending master through port zero. Let me see like that. Even if I choose USB, this is still configurable through the speed knob here. So yeah, it's 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 a little bit of a mess to be honest, and um, it's not uh, the easiest uh, thing to to work with. And I, I I managed to to send MIDI information or MIDI signal to to this uh, this tool here to the synth but I'm not able to send it right now. I don't know why. Let's see if I need something else. Let me check. Mm, let me, okay, let me put on port zero, which is, uh, okay, maybe it's this one here. Let me put this also on port one and both are in the same port. Okay, no, still still not working okay I'm now at 90 90 something in in FL studio at 50 and this still not not sending any information okay yeah so this is kind of kind of the the issue here let me see no this is still kind of a mess <laughs> yeah so so it's a little bit hard to to work with this uh, with this tool but as you can see if we go back to fl studio you will see that uh, i can use this midi out to send information and now i was messing here around and now i have um um the output of Focusrite I'm sending to, to channel to sync one. Let's see if I put this one, it still works. So if I click on my keyboard, I can send also some information, which I think is the best way to work with this. So forget all, forget all of the, the other stuff that I was saying. Uh, maybe the best way is just to, to use this, uh, put it here at port zero. Let's say master, send master sync. And then you can open up a, a MIDI output channel and just send the notes. Let's put this on zero and just, just write here stuff. Uh, we can, and let's see, maybe we can do some, some glide. Okay. And we can make it slower. Of course, for you to listen, to be able to listen to this sound here, you must have your the output. That's why I had a MIDI channel and a output 
a cable, uh, not a MIDI channel, a MIDI cable and a jack, uh, audio jack cable, because I have to to send the output here directly into the um, um, directly to the Focusrite USB. So I'm receiving the. If I take this out, you will not hear any sound because the sound is going from the output here in this chain in this cable going through directly into my focus right and that's why I'm, I'm able to send sounds from the td3 directly into fl studio so that's it this was kind of a a hard one to explain uh, because it's uh, it's a little bit hard to use this uh, this uh, synth synth it's not uh, the easiest one to to use and uh, sometimes midi can be a little bit uh, uh, hard to work with and that's why i even had some some issues trying to send the, the um, trying to make fl studio to control the td3 i i i managed to do it i think it was with um with a different audio device it was the device of the focus right usb and that one is it, it goes directly, connects directly, FL Studio directly to my other device. And that's the best, uh, the best way to, to connect this. So that's why sometimes it's a little bit hard to, to do these uh, MIDI connections. But basically, recapping, you have to have your audio device. In my case, it's a Focusrite. You connect a MIDI out directly into the MIDI in of the TD3. Then you have to connect the audio jack, the output from TD3 directly into the Focusrite audio signal input. And then you have to configure FL Studio with this MIDI out so that you can send notes and get some some per, some audio directly from, from the, um, the TD3 or the Focusrite input. So that's it. It's kind of a it's kind of a pain to be honest. It's kind of a pain in the in the in the back end. <laughs> uh, I try to keep it YouTube friendly. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's it's possible to to do. 